There are lots of things in life that we should be really thankful for, and many people that we need to thank. This can be done in all sorts of different ways. You could give somebody a little present, just something to make them smile. Maybe some chocolate. Everybody likes chocolate. Or cupcakes. They're nice to make and sometimes good fun. Or even we could paint a picture for somebody. Painting pictures can be so much fun. <laughs> but often, we do make a lot of mess. And we should be careful and maybe ask permission before we paint something. Well, maybe there's other ways too of saying thank you. We could just give some flowers. They don't need to be expensive ones, just something that we find. Or a great big hug. Or writing down the words thank you can often be so much, because they can be kept forever. But whenever we say thank you, and however we do it, it's important to say thank you. If somebody gave you a gift that was very expensive, of course, it doesn't have to be expensive, but if somebody did, you would know that they were grateful, and you would know because of what you'd done, you were loved. In the time that Jesus was here, he changed so many lives. He healed people, he helped people, he talked to lonely people, and there were so many people who were thankful for all the things that Jesus was doing. But the religious people, they weren't sure. In fact, some of them said, this can't be right. He can't be who he says he is. Well, there was one man. His name was Simon and he was a Pharisee. Pharisees were very strict religious people and he invited Jesus to his house for a meal. If you went for a meal in Bible times, it would have seemed so different till today. You didn't sit up at the table. You didn't drag your chair underneath you actually lay on a couch beside a table and your feet would be at the end of it and you'd lean on your shoulder towards the table and you would talk sort of lying down. Seems very strange to us. But Jesus went to Simon's house and while they were at the house having this lovely meal and having this conversation, a lady came in. When she came in, some people began to frown. Everyone knew who she was and she was a lady who had done lots of things wrong. But you see, she had met the Lord Jesus, and meeting the Lord Jesus changed her. She realised all the wrong things, and she put them right. And the Lord Jesus forgave her and showed her how it was that she should live. And she was so much more happy. She had peace because she knew her sins were forgiven. And she came to the house for a reason. She came carrying a special bottle. Inside this bottle that was made of something called alabaster was an oil that was very, very expensive. It was so expensive because it smelt so beautiful. The smell was incredibly strong. And she broke the bottle, snapped off the top, and where the Lord Jesus' feet were at the end of the couch, she poured the oil on and the smell filled the room. Simon was frowning at what was going on and he thought to himself, ah, this proves that this Jesus cannot be a prophet. If he knew who she was and what it is that she has done, he wouldn't let her anywhere near him. But the Lord Jesus wasn't just a prophet. He is the Son of God. And he knew what was making Simon frown. He knew the thoughts that were going through his mind. The Lord Jesus said to Simon, I've got something that I want to say to you. Okay, said Simon, go ahead. The Lord Jesus told a story about a man who lent some money to two different men. The one he lent a whole load of money, and the other one just a little bit. But when the men came back to pay, neither of them had any money to pay him back. So the man said, I tell you what, I'll just pretend that I never lent you anything. You don't owe me any money. 
The question that the Lord Jesus had for Simon was which one would love more? Which one would be so grateful that he'd been let off that amount of money? Simon thought for a moment, and then he said, well, obviously, the man who owed a whole load more money. <laughs> said the Lord Jesus, that's just like this lady. She has been forgiven much, and now she is showing that she loves much. When I came to your house, Simon, you didn't wash the dust off my feet. You didn't help me. You didn't give me any olive oil. But this lady, she has brought this rare, expensive perfume. Her sins were many, but they are forgiven. And she loves me much because she was forgiven much. The Lord Jesus turned to the lady and he said, your sins are forgiven. The men around the table started muttering to themselves, who does he think he is forgiving sin? But he said to the lady, go in peace. Your faith has saved you. It's the same for us. If we want to be saved from our sins, we must have faith in the Lord Jesus. The Bible tells us about God's grace, God's goodness to us. He gives us things that we don't deserve. And he gave us his son, Jesus Christ, who died on a cross and took our place. And we can have our sins forgiven because of what he did on that cross. But we must have faith in him, really believe that he died to save us, that our sins can be forgiven, and that he can take us one day to be with him in heaven. Do you have faith? The lady did, and she knew her sins were forgiven. When we trust in the Lord Jesus Christ, God promises our sins will be forgiven also.